Miami Valley right now. But first, we go to Jordan Burgess out in the elements again tonight. Jordan? Well, still a little cold out here, no snow falling, and the streets out here in Dayton, still ice and snow covered in spots, but that isn't necessarily the real problem. Instead, it's these that you're going to be dodging, potholes. So we're asking what's being done to fix them and what you should do if you hit one. As the snow and ice slowly melt away, a new menace emerges. The potholes, they're here. With the extreme cold giving way to temperatures in the 40s this weekend, even more potholes are expected to pop up on area roadways. It really takes a toll on the pavement, and it can end up just popping out or cracking. We wanted to know what's being done to fix the problem potholes. Crews with both Dayton and the Ohio Department of Transportation say the biggest issue is getting a break in the snow and cold. So we're gearing up uh, to go in full force uh, Thursday and Friday and into next week as long as the weather allows to deal with the potholes. The weather also makes it harder for any repairs to last. Crews have to use a cold mix on the potholes because it's not hot enough for asphalt. The cold mix isn't as permanent of a fix. Sometimes it's nothing for us to have to go back and patch these potholes two and three times during a harsh winter. With that in mind, we looked into what happens if your car is damaged by a pothole. We found you can file a claim with whoever's supposed to maintain the road you were on. But many times jurisdictions won't pay unless it can be shown they knew about the pothole and failed to fix it in a reasonable amount of time. So the onus is on drivers to avoid any pothole pitfalls. Just take your time and pay attention to where you're driving. And if you see one of these, everyone I talk with says make sure you report it so they know about it and they're able to go out and fix it. And we actually have a link on our website, WDTN.com, so you can report a pothole to the Ohio Department of Transportation. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.